Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with my final uh, wrap up of the Heroic Modes Guide through 4 of the Apocalypse Saga. More specifically, we're going to be going through Notes 5, Notes 6, and as well as Notes 7 because I've made everything else uh, in my previous videos. I think out of all the other characters then, the only one I haven't shown in terms of the upgrades that I brought up are the three original Strike characters. So, um, you know, it's not a surprise. Most of them are built up all the way to the max. Kestrel being level 91 definitely helped a lot of the nodes. I also have Spider Weaver here as you can see with the respective upgrades. Got super lucky with her because I actually ended up getting the seven red so for sure that absolutely helped in the progression and then last but not least we got death pool here um standard as usual the gear tier 16 level 85 um, those are the three. Uh, I'll make sure I link my other videos done before too so that way you guys can see their power levels but let's get right into it. Notes five six seven playthrough now guys make sure um especially with this one requiring actually all three Kestro, Deathpool, and spider weaver uh, make sure you save them as a preset team actually in your blitz team so that way you guys can preload them as shown here so that way they are separated that way adjacent damage is not going to target them um, but that way it's going to ensure that you know damage can at least be mitigated but not a bad note whatsoever because we do actually get the combined um, assisted forces here of nick fury's yeah, so starting things off guys we got the we get the support of minions from nick fury and we're going to target that right side because uh in each playthrough we want to take down the ghost riders uh you'll see that there's a couple that's in each wave and by taking them down it prevents us from at least being able to get additional damage we're not needed but you can see um even in this uh late game heroic mode uh, these guys actually are falling quite easily because of how squishy they are so um you know don't get fooled by their squishy notes so, though because they can still hit quite hard if they land their abilities so uh, especially characters like nemesis um where they can scale hp and damage so just keep that in mind um but again focus on the characters that apply bleed such as dark beast um but as well uh being mindful of uh of ghost riders that come with their passive damage so as you can see me taking down dark beast thankfully the tackle was able to miss thanks to spider reaver's passive now 10 out of 15 enemies left we can shift gears here a bit and then focus on ghost rider finishing him off there's one more that we're going to be up against and honestly speaking it's really the last uh, the last wave that's actually problematic in this node specifically um and that's why we got to prepare for it beforehand so you can see at this point uh we're up against with a lot of supportive characters here um not really many that can do damage Kulk, you can argue depending on if he gets uh the retaliation attacks but finally this last wave here is probably where you'll have issues uh we want to take down enemies asap but also being mindful of that ghost rider that does the passive attacks and again spider weaver allowing us the, the opportunity here to dodge some of the damage which is huge uh, when you're able to do so um focus on the characters that have bleed so you know morbius um he was already weak i saw the dark beast uh, also didn't get his turn yet so i ulted with my cash roll and that actually wiped him out thanks again um to his to her raider passive which is huge uh, so we take them down and the, the attacks are pretty much um not existent at this point so we can finally shift gears and focus on ghost rider um, and that's going to leave Mr. Negative and Voodoo being the last two. So I know with this one specifically, um, you might need a little bit of RNG and luck because uh, I, I did fail a couple of times um, to, to land and finish it just because they can get going at the very end here. But if you're able to get to this point where it's just Mr. Negative, Voodoo, um, or even some of the other uh, supportive characters like uh, uh, like we previously we had She-Hulk and so forth, like that's okay. Uh, they're not going to be doing much. Um, there you go. And then Voodoo here just to clean things up. So uh, overall, a pretty good note, guys. Um, only took a couple of tries. Uh, you might need some RNG, but um, not too difficult just because these three characters are some of the most powerful characters in the game. We get all of them uh, with the assisted forces of Nick Fury. Here we go. And on to note six here now. Um, now, this one wasn't bad too because, again, we get a lot of powerful characters being utilized. And um, again, only took me a couple tries to kind of get the right reset. But at the very beginning, it is nice that we have Spider Weaver's ultimate right from the get-go. And you want to do that right away, guys, because if Magneto gets his ultimate off, uh, it's going to be able to hit us. But if you played it right, Morgan Le Fay should be able to get her ultimate. So a lot of these enemies are going to have their uh, ability block, including Dark Beast. Uh, and then we're in a really good position at this point, guys. Um, squishier damage uh, dealers like Deadpool can be taken down. And it's just a really good, powerful team, guys. Uh, I think having Kestrel, Spider Weaver, Agatha Harkness, and Morgan Le Fay all together here um, just shows you how powerful this synergistic combination of, uh, of a makeshift horseman team so um you know at this point you're still going to have some of the passives uh from spider weaver to make them dodge so it's 10 out of 15 enemies where uh you'll likely have to use some abilities and target more but their morgan lefay does spawn and i would uh, you know caution you guys to focus on her uh, excuse me not uh, morgan lefay rogue 
uh, focus on rogue asap just because uh, you as you saw right there um she used her abilities but thankfully we have the immunity so it, it wasn't even an issue for us uh dazzler is another good one too that we need to be aware of because she can cleanse uh so we go ahead and target her but they also have a archangel that's ready to go with damage and at this point when you finish off rogue uh the last wave is going to spawn at eight out of 15 enemies remaining here as you can see uh so you know other than that it's just a it's a random cluster of this astonishing x-men with um with some of the unlimited so uh you know uh with archangel he's still alive so we're going to focus him being him, the the top tier character in this mixture but otherwise it's pretty much just cleaning up i think i think having the combination of agatha with morgan lefay and spider weaver uh, makes this node exceptionally easy um it could land a little differently depending on how you start maybe with the speed meter in this node but uh you guys likely won't have an issue um it was pretty smooth when i went through it uh it's more so just timing and making sure that you take down rogue uh, asap uh, and then you can see gambit there just doing work with his passive attacks just absolutely crushing these enemies and um, they're actually not as uh, tanky as i thought they would be right so you can see uh, even in heroic mode they're actually pretty squishy so um our guys are just a standard minimum requirement um gear tier 50 excuse me gear tier 16 um as well as level 85 with the exception of kestrel uh but otherwise yeah look how smooth that was so good stuff guys uh so that's notes five note six now we're gonna move on now to the hardest note here uh, being node seven and guys thankfully if you're watching this now um they actually did just release an update this week to make this note specifically easier so uh this is the placement that worked for me to get the three stars but if you guys can replicate this uh this is the node that has the most rng in terms of what can happen but again because they nerfed the node now making it more uh friendly to actually unlock you guys probably will not have some of the mechanics that we see early here so uh from the get-go we can see actually spider woman using her abilities from the beginning i don't think that's gonna be the case now anymore but what you ideally want to be doing then after that point is uh, uh, there's a couple key targets that we want to take advantage of. I always aim for any of the minions for Mr. Negative because we're going to get that passive uh, speed reduction from Archangel with his attacks. Uh, so you always want to kind of try and see if you can at least chain attack or try to combo it up by taking down one of the clones because it gives us an advantage here to, uh, as you can see, Archangel passive attacks um, and as well, Death Pool having the passive attacks too. So that, that was part of the strategy. Um, and then we're looking so good so far because Morgan Le Fay uh, still hasn't had her turn yet in terms of shutting us down. So now um, the next step here is actually using the special for Archangel. And you can see, again, he gets that opportunity to finish off Mr. Negative's clone. We're still getting the passive attacks from Death Pool, but we haven't used any of our abilities yet because we've been kind of just sitting stand still waiting for them to go. Uh, and unfortunately, with Wong having the taunt, um, there's honestly not much we can do. We finally get this chance now, Archangel being a faster character. He's going to go now again, uh, just doing the passive damage. And finally, Rogue, you know, who's arguably one of the faster characters on our team, finally gets a chance to use her ability. So uh, this is what's pivotal and key here, guys. Um, you want to use her special so that way she's going to get a bunch of buffs. Uh, and then she's finally going to start tanking for us, which we, is what exactly what we need because we've just been taking damage over damage. Um, and then you want you do want to see if you can uh, spread that out with uh, Deadpool special. That's why I haven't used her abilities. And thankfully, again, um, with the Mr. Negative uh, clone there actually being right next to Wong, it gives us a huge opportunity here uh, to have our ability. So Agatha dropped right there. The timing worked out perfectly for me so that I was actually able to stun her. She doesn't even get her turn off. But um, I believe they revamped uh, Agatha as well in the in the Node 7 uh, difficulty reduction. So we're at a really good point right now. Agatha's taken down. Uh, and then I start kind of resuming my damage on Morgan Le Fay with her being probably the most highest priority target. But thing is, is she's actually pretty tanky in this node. Finally, we get the ultimate ability here um, to try and finish off Morgan Le Fay. Uh, wasn't able to do so, but we're going to get close with that bleed and then Death Pool finishing off. And then finally, this is, a, I think, arguably the hardest part of the node is that we get um, you know, Red Hulk dropping with another Egg of the Harkness. And that's why we haven't used Doctor Strange's abilities because we saved his ultimate for this last node. Um, and then we shift gears here and once again, aiming for Egg of the Harkness because we just don't want her getting her abilities off at all. And you can see we do successfully take her down and you know at that point if you're able to take both the agathas down with morgan lefay and getting to this final node before red hulk gets his turn uh you're in a really really good spot so you can see um those key priority targets did not even get a chance um i can't tell you guys how many times i had to reset this node but again uh, if you're watching this now this is harder um 
in my actual playthrough than it is now is you should be having an easier time so there you guys have it a very smooth run but uh, i had to reset i think probably 20 30 times plus just to get the rng i kept getting demolished by morgan lefay in the very beginning guys so there you have it that's note seven um five six and seven playthrough ultimately and i already made the video on the apocalypse unlock everything will be linked below thank you as always do appreciate you guys' support and good luck in your guys' unlock for apocalypse in the future um take your time remember it's marathon not sprint thank you guys and I'll catch you in the next one